Hi there, I'm Tom and I'm the creator of Schedulex. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can set up an event calendar in Vue.js with just a few lines of code. In the end, you will then have an event calendar looking a bit like this with events that you can drag and drop across a monthly grid or in a weekly grid where tasks are organized like this on the time grid and some full day events up here in the date grid and they can all be dragged and dropped. I will start this tutorial by running npm install at schedulex slash view and at schedulex slash theme default. And after doing so, I can go to my app.view and import the schedulex calendar component from at schedulex slash view and from schedulex calendar, I can import the create calendar function. I will also need to import some views because these are not added by default. Lastly, I will also need to import the styles and I will do so from at schedulex theme default slash this slash calendar dot CSS. Once I've done this, I can create a const calendar app, which will be a shallow ref where I'm going to save the return value of create calendar. And this is where I need to add the configuration for the calendar. So I will add some views which will all be the return value of these factory functions I just imported. So create view week, create view month grid and create view day. That will leave me with three views when I render my calendar soon. I will set the selected date to today's date, which is the 11th of January, 2025. I will add an events array and there I'm going to start by adding one event with an ID of one a title of my first event. And now for the timestamps, I'm gonna show you two different formats that you can do this. For this first event, I'm gonna use a so-called timed event, and I'm gonna set it to 11th of January at 1 a.m. And the end I'm gonna to set to 11th of January at 3 a.m. And now I'm gonna copy paste this because for the second event, I wanna show you the non-timed or the full day events. And they look the exact same, but you just remove the timestamp and the delimiter between the time and the date, and then you have a valid full multi-day event. Now, as a last step here in app.view, I need to use the Schedulex calendar component that I have imported above, and then I can pass a calendar app prop to it, which will have the value of calendar app, which I declared above too. One last thing before I run this code is that I'm going to grab some styles from the Schedulex documentation website. I'm going to add those to my style.css. I need those styles for defining the height and the width of the calendar wrapper element. And then I'm going to type npm run dev in my terminal and open my browser. And the result now looks like this. I'm going to add one thing here or add, rather I'm gonna remove one thing here, which is text align center, and ta-da, the calendar looks just like I want. As the next step, I wanna implement drag and drop. So I'm stopping my process, and then I'm running npm install at schedulex slash drag and drop. And once the download is finished, I'm gonna go back to my app.view, and at the very top, I'm gonna write import create drag and drop plugin from at schedulex slash drag and drop. And the only thing I need to do here is I need to add it to a plugins section, which is an array. And then I can type create drag and drop plugin and run that function. And once I run this code and open my browser, I can now drag and drop events. Okay, it looks neat if you ask me. But one last thing that I wanna do is that I wanna define a callbacks section of my config object. And there I can add an on event update callback, which receives one parameter, the event. And this is where I can now do some business logic and send my event to the server. Now in this next part of the video, I'm gonna show you how you can create an event modal like this one, where you can just click somewhere in the calendar to create a new event or with which you can also just click an existing event to then either update it or delete it. 
I will also show you how you can use the Draw plugin to achieve this elegant way of letting your users create events by just drawing across the calendar. Now, these two plugins are a part of ScheduleX Premium, which is a paid offering, but of course I will leave a discount code for you down in the description if this is something that you wanna check out. After setting up authentication for these plugins, I can run npm install at SX Premium slash interactive event modal and SX Premium slash draw. I will then start by creating a new directory called plugins where I can add draw.ts. Now this is going to be quite simple. I am just going to export a new const which I will call draw plugin and this will be the return value of create draw plugin which is a function. One thing that I need to configure here, and therefore I'm adding this configuration object, is this on finish drawing callback, which receives the event as a single parameter. And this is where I can now also implement some business logic and send the event to server. Then I can go to my app.view file, import this draw plugin and add it to the plugins section of my calendar config. One last thing before this will work is that I need to define a callback. So in my callback section, I can then add a on mouse down date time callback, which receives a date time and a mouse down event as parameters. These I can then pass on to draw plugin dot draw time grid event. And this method can also be called with a third parameter event properties, which is where I can define some properties for the event that will be created when drawing. So here I will just write title untitled event. And when I run this and go to my browser and then open the weekly view, I can now create events by drawing. But as you can tell here, you cannot yet draw full day events. So for that, we're gonna add another callback on mouse down date grid date. And there I'm gonna call draw plugin dot draw date grid event. And there I'm gonna add also the date and the mouse down event, and then an object with title and untitled event. And now I can draw full day events too. But I also want to be able to draw events in the month grid. So I'm gonna add a third callback here on mouse down month grid date. And there I'm gonna call draw plugin dot draw month grid event. And this one only takes two parameters. So I'm gonna pass date to it and then I'm gonna pass the event properties to it. Then I can remove mouse down event. If I now navigate to the month, I can now draw events also here. Isn't that lovely? Next up is the modal plugin. So I'm gonna add a modal.ts file where I can export a const modal plugin, which will be the return value of create interactive event modal and this reminds me, in order to configure this, I'm gonna to have to download another dependency. So I'm gonna run npm install at schedulex slash events service. And this one I'm also gonna export from here, const event service equals create events service plugin. And this event service now has to be added to the modal plugin configuration because it's a dependency of the modal. And after I've done this, I can go to my app.view and in the plugins section, I now need to import both of these plugins. So I'm gonna add modal plugin and below I'm gonna add the events service plugin. But before running this, I also want to add the styles for the modal. So I'm gonna import from at SX premium slash interactive event modal slash index dot CSS. And if I now run this and go to my browser, I can click an event and ta-da, there we have the modal. Now this modal can be configured almost endlessly. You can configure your own fields, you can hide some default fields, add validation and much more. But more on that in the documentation website. All right, if you enjoy this video and you wanna make my day, hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one.